Hey everyone, and welcome to Pro Mix Academy. My name is Carlo Libertini. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a song using some of Studio One's most advanced new features. One of them is Chord Finder, which has been around for a little bit. And the next one is Strum Pattern, which is really cool and really new. So let's get started. Now, in this demo session, I have a couple of tracks. I've got a bass track and a drum track. Let's take a listen to what we're going to be working with before we dive right in. So we have a walking bass line right here. Really nice. Let me turn it up a little bit. Okay. Now let's say in a real world working scenario, here you are, you could be anywhere doing this. That's the real gift of digital audio production here. Whether you have access to a full size keyboard to play, or any MIDI instrument, you could use your mouse or your trackpad to do exactly what I'm going to do. So whenever you have the inspiration to create, you have no excuses now. Let's take a look. Now, if you don't see the Chord Finder track, come up here to the Global Tracks Visibility, select it and choose Chords. And here you see we've got a lane now for chords and it's as simple as this, check this out. I'm gonna select this first two bars of the walking bass line and drag it up and it's giving me the chords relative to the key and structure of that bass guitar, that MIDI performance already. So what we're doing is we're jump starting our musical creation here. Let's say I really like this bass line and I wanna use it for a song idea and I wanna add some piano to this. Okay, now we know, we have an idea of what's going on musically now. And here I've got a, um, a virtual instrument that I created MIDI piano and let's drag one of my favorite ones, let's go to instruments. I'll take piano tech and bring it right on there and it'll load the instrument for us right there. There, now let's pick one of my favorites. I like the jazz pianos in this. Yeah, let's go to that one, beautiful. Okay, so now I've taken my MIDI bass line that is being triggered here by this virtual instrument. Okay, it's, it's a presence, comes with Studio One and it sounds great. Now we have an idea of where it's going musically with the chord finder. Now let's make some chords. All right, so I'm gonna create a zone here by double clicking. Double clicking that box with the instrument track where the MIDI piano is. Now there's no MIDI notes there, so I'm not gonna hear anything, but we're gonna create it. And I'm gonna show you a really cool new feature to start creating chords without making accidentals wherever you are and thus you know, working faster and quicker. Now let me, uh, let's see, let me, hide myself for a second because I want to show you down here. Here's another tip. If you want to zoom in, you've got these features right here. Here you go. There's the horizontal, but the vertical one is right next to it. It's kind of tiny. It's right there, that double stack. Clicking that, holding it down, lets you zoom in vertically. So that's a little tip for you. Okay, so that's all right down there. Okay, bring myself back in. And then of course you can just grab the bar. Okay, now where do we want to start? This is, I was going to say this is key. I didn't mean the pun, but it's in there now. Here's where we want to start. Our scale and key. We want to select this. I want to come here and say, I want, to, I want it to stay in the key of A, and I want to keep it in a major scale. But here's another tip for you. Before we start creating chords, now with this new feature I'm about to show you, you have to tick this box. See this keyboard right here? It's really easy to miss. I kind of wish it was a little bit more visible, let me be honest with you, but it's right there. You can see it hovers over it. It gives you, presents you with a potential check. Select that. Now it'll show you where all the notes are relative to the key and the scale we selected. So we can avoid making accidentals here. All right, let's go start with an E note on bar three. I'll double click it. Now I just added one note. Now, if you're on a Mac, you hold Option. If you're on a Windows computer, you can hold Alt. So I'm going to select the note, hold Alt, and watch this. I can't put the note anywhere that isn't relative to the key we selected. How cool is that? So let's go to... Just like that. Now I'm going to build a chord and build it again. I added four notes there. Let me select them and drag them out a little bit. Now you can see I have snapped my grid on here. If you want to do it free feel, toggle this off and you could free feel where they go. There's another tip for you, okay? 
But if you want to keep them snapped to the grid, activate it right here. And there, it'll lock to the grid. Let's take a listen to this chord right here. Okay, so this is a new feature and I love it. Here we go, we created our first chord just by selecting it. Remember, if you're using a Mac, just pick the note, hold option, drag it up, do it again and repeat to add as many notes as you want to build that chord with. If you're on a Windows machine, it's just as easy as holding Alt. Let's create another chord. Now that's in bar three, let's go to bar four. Actually, I'm gonna drag these out just a little bit more, give them a little bit more length. All right, let's go to, here we go. All right, let's start, uh, let's go right there. Now I'll do the same thing. Let's build another chord. You can have any version of chords that you want. And let's drag these out. I'll select them in a box and bring them out a couple of bars right about there. And let's hear the song that we're building so far. Oh, I like it. All right, let's go down a little low here. Let's take a, let's go to bar five and let's create a, another chord. Yeah, let's add some flavor to this. Oh yeah, this is gonna sound really interesting. A little jazzy, I like it. Now, let me shrink it a little bit. There we go, and. All right. Now, it's the process I'm highlighting here, of course. You, with your personal creative freedom, can create whatever kind of chords you want. I wanted to keep it a little bit jazzy. So we're able to create chords by avoiding accidentals. Now, I said before, I prefaced this by saying, if you could be anywhere now, you don't have to have access to a full-size keyboard. You got a trackpad, you got a mouse, you got an imagination. It's all you need. Let's add a couple of single notes here. Let's go to, um, yeah, I'll add one there, there, and there. Let's stretch these out. Maybe do a little bit of some kind of little, little no pattern. All right. So here's what we got so far. There. Now I'm gonna bring this down to about bar seven. And there we go. So we're building chords. Now for a really cool new feature. This is called strum pattern. All right, I'm going to show you how to create glissandos, strumming, if you will, uh, where you can roll the notes. And this again is a new feature here, which I really like. Now, I'll give you another tip. You could select one chord to do it one chord at a time, or if you selected a group of chords, it would edit them all as a group. In fact, let's do that. I will leave this group of audio selected. So we're gonna, we're going to apply this new feature called strum pattern to these two chords on bar three and bar four. Now, if you're going to get started, you have to pick the first note that you want to move. In other words, that's gonna be my higher note because I want to start with the low and end with the high. And so that'll be either this E4 or this C sharp four. Now, if you're using um, a Mac, you want to select the note and hold command option. If you're on a Windows PC, then you wanna select that note and you wanna hold control alt. So let me do that right now. I'm gonna select a note, hold control alt, and watch how the notes are creating in unison that strum, if you will. It is called strum pattern. Let's check it out. How cool is that? Now remember, I gave you another tip earlier. I had right here, we have toggle to snap. If you take that off, you can have a little bit more free feel. You won't be restricted to the grid. But if you wanna keep everything on the grid, then select that and there you go. All right, let's listen to that one more time. All right, now that you have the fundamentals now to start continuing to build a song. We used Chord Finder to bring the MIDI bass guitar track up to Chord Finder to get an idea of what the chords are relative to that bass performance. 
we created an instrument track, we put a virtual instrument on there, and we use some of these new MIDI creation tools to help you channel your creativity. Now, I'll give you another tip. With these, two, uh, with these four bars selected, all you need to do is select that and press duplicate, and it'll repeat it for you at any, as much as you want. Let's bring that to right about there. Awesome. Okay, let's uh, check out our new song. And there you go. Now you can actually take this and repeat it, put it anywhere you want at any time. And you can see that as here, let me minimize this a little bit. You could see that as I bring it in, we'll have more chords. See, it's moving around here in the menu. Here's the first batch and there's the second batch. So you can continue to edit this, add chords, make changes all you want. I think it's a really cool new way to, again, channel your creativity wherever you are at any time. If you don't have access to a full-size keyboard, if you have a trackpad, now you have no excuses. Using Chord Finder and applications like Strum Pattern to create that glissando effect. Look at what we're doing in just a few minutes. Now, again, it's the process I wanted to highlight to you. So you have no excuse but to stay busy and stay creative. Thank you for watching. My name is Carlo Libertini. Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe.